You know, I know there's people expecting me to be great. And that does add pressure, for sure. But I thrive off the pressure. You know, I love pressure. And I know that I'm doing everything that I can to be my best. I'm a very regimented fucking guy. It's pretty much like I live like how Jay Cutler lived. You know, I, I basically purposely make myself live in a fucking box. Everything I do is the same time every single day. And I believe that's what needs to be done to be successful. Some people train this time and then the next day they won't train. I don't like that. I need to have a set schedule every day. And I believe that's what creates success. Once your body gets into a specific routine, it begins to thrive off that. And then the results just become endless. Hey, speak it into existence because if you believe in yourself and you are really confident in yourself, who gives a shit what anyone has to say? Really, like who cares? Believe in yourself and your goals, block all the bullshit out, put your headphones on and go to work. When I get going, I'm fucking going. And the only thing on my mind is winning. I train to win. I got abs like that on the stage. Blocks. No matter who you are, whether you're the little man with the totem pole or you're at the fucking top, you're gonna get backlash no matter what. And it's okay, it's okay. As long as you know what you're saying and what you're doing is just you being confident and your abilities to be the best at whatever it is that you wanna do, then you go do it, man. Let everyone know who the fuck you are, put your head down and go to fucking work because that's what it's about.
Jets, I know the end result will be worth it because I am going to win the Arnold at all costs. Do not be afraid to speak it into existence. Don't be afraid to let the world know what you're capable of and what your goals are and what you plan to achieve. People are gonna say you're delusional, you're this, you're that, whatever the case is, you're gonna get backlash no matter what. When I hear the vets say, I shouldn't say things like this, blah, 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 and it's only certain ones. In my opinion, they only feel that way because I'm a threat to them. They, they know, they know. They know how hard I'm working and they know I'm coming to take the title. This is when it hurts. You know, this is when things can get a little ugly, you know, but this is this is when I thrive. This is the part that I love the most. And this is the part that will separate the men from the children. You know, the wolves from the sheep. This is the time frame where we see who's the big dogs and who's not. Who's gonna step up to the plate and who's not when it fucking hurts. This is the days you gotta work even harder than you've ever worked before. It doesn't matter that anyone can work hard when they feel fucking good. It matters how hard you can work when you're fucking depleted, tired, exhausted. But this is when things change daily. This is what makes the end result worth it. This is what makes every sacrifice worth it. Because I know in my head, in my mind, when I get on that stage, there is nothing more I could have done to be my best. And that's why I always believe I will be the last man standing. the last man standing. In the title of 2021 Arnold Classic Champion to our winner, Nick Walker. He's got to feel good going to the Olympia again. Oh, my coach believes in me, my family believes in me, all you guys believed in me, and that's why I'm a champion today. You guys see the mutant go two for three. Y'all ready to see him go three for three? somebody that has so much potential this is just the very very beginning Tip of the iceberg baby